Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Fody and welcome to Rust. Now, I figured I'd try something a little bit different today. Uh, I wanted to play a survival game and just start a start from start from the very beginning because I played this a little bit and I got pretty far in one of the games. I met a bunch of people and we were um, surviving together. But I wanted to start off from the beginning so you guys can see the struggle of what the average new player goes through in Rust. You'll see. Let's play. Oh. There we go. All right. Uh, first thing we gotta do is build some sort of basic shelter and get a fire going. So we gotta find Materials. Now they'll have bundles of wood that when you hit them. Hey, look, there's a shelter now. I wonder if someone lives there. Let's break in and find out with my big rock. I don't think anybody lives here. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about that. We can go out and gather materials for other things like basic tools, maybe a campfire. If we can find a pig and beat it to death with this rock, we can get some food. Should be good. Oh, whoa, whoa, lag? That's the one thing that this game has a lot of. Has a lot of lag. I don't know why. Like, even with servers with low ping, you'll just teleport every once in a while. I think I see a pig over there. If I can get the pig, then we can get some food, and maybe we won't die. Because, as you can see on the bottom right of the screen, there's a health bar, a food bar, and a rad bar. And the food is basically how many calories you have before you start starving to death, so you gotta eat and keep that up. And health, of course, is obvious, and rads is if you ever played Fallout, or if you have a, a brain that can discern that type of information. It's radiation when you go into radioactive zones. Come on now. Give me some wood. I need wood. Give wood. Now when I joined the server, it said there were about 20 people on here, so... Let's hope we don't run into them anytime soon. Because I had some... Okay. Then there's a rock over there, we can use the rock to gra- to gather. Use the rock to gather gr materials. M m materials. I need a couple stones and we can make some, uh... Oh, great. Great! Radioactive. It's a radioactive rock, that's what I need. Carry around some uranium ore. Make a nuke. Okay. Somebody that lives here? What could that password be? Hello? Is anyone in there? Got a rock. The great thing is you could talk with proximity voice chat, so anybody in earshot of you will hear you. Hey, look, another house. Well, the foundation of one, anyway. Wow. Look at that. I think we might have just lucked out, everybody. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't have to worry about a tiny little shack. All right, let's see. So what we're gonna do first, can I, do I have enough stones to make a hatchet? Nope. At least a door. Yep, I can make a door. Ah. All right, we'll make a door and a campfire. And then we're gonna go and try and find some animals out there. Hopefully they're not in hostile ones, because I don't feel like beating a bear to death with a rock. I'll probably die. But we need to get um, those animal kills so we can make a sleeping bag. And it's a sleeping bag in the sense of um, a save point, basically. Or not a save point, a spawn point. Um, it's a lot like Minecraft as far as uh, the beds are concerned. Let me get this door. Let me get the freaking door. Let me. Let me uh, 
There we go. Okay. It's a lot like Minecraft with the uh, beds, because when you die, you can respawn there. But when you respawn on your bed, you have to wait four minutes. So if someone's raiding your house and they kill you in your house, you'll respawn on your bed, they'll kill you again, and they'll just loot all your stuff and probably burn your house to the ground. And there are raiding parties in this game. It did happen to me yesterday. <laughs> I was minding my own business, just started making some uh, higher grade basic items like uh, like rudimentary revolvers and stuff. And I was ready to go out after the night was over and start gathering stuff to make a bigger house. And these dudes just roll through out of nowhere and just completely, like, out of nowhere, they're like, hey, hey, someone live in here? And I'm like, no, nobody lives here. And they're like, well, we're going to break the store down and we're going to kill you. And I'm like, you really don't have to do that. I really would rather you not do that. And then what they did was they beat my door down. It took about 20 minutes, so I was just sitting there listening to the uh, incessant rattling of rocks and hatchets bashing the doors down on a tiny little wood shed. You know, I'm thinking that, that guy's house is... This is that guy's house. Whoever's in there. So we may have to raid that house after I get a hatchet or something. Okay, it's radioactive over here. That's why it's radioactive. There's a freaking power plant over there. Hey, Jesus Christo! I don't want to be radioactive. I do not want to glow in the dark. Alright. Hey, look at another house. Maybe they're asleep. Seven wood. I mean, as much sense as it makes to beat these piles of wood with a large rock. I mean, I guess I can sort of understand the primitive aspect of it. Life was hard back in the day. Although I sure wish we could find an animal around here somewhere. I don't think they'll be anywhere near the radioactive zones, though. But I could be wrong, because I did see a deer standing in this in the middle of a freaking nuclear power plant, and I tried to walk in there. I was getting like 30 radioactive or 30 rads a second. It's like a super deer. Come on, little animal. Where are you? Come on out. I'm being a little careless with running around. Normally if you're running around, ooh. Hello. Somebody storing stuff in here? No, of course not. That would just be folly. Nope, it's not going that way. Now I've never experienced radio, uh, radiation sickness or radiation poisoning, but I've ha I've had my radioactive or my rads go up a lot, and I don't know I don't know what the negative side effects of that would be, but I've had it up to like 200 something. Hello, is anybody in here? All these doors are locked. The people. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I alerted a dog to my presence or a wolf. I heard a wolf. I know I heard a wolf! I don't want to hear wolves. I need to find a freaking pig. We've gone so far away from the house. Way further than I intended to on the first day. Oh god. Oh, there are no animals anywhere. Oh, oh, resources! It's way over there though, I saw a tiny little rock in the distance, but that should be just enough to get us a hatchet that we need. It'll be a tiny little stone on a stick, but it's a lot better than carrying around a big stone. Oh look, more resources! This place is resource rich! Woo! So visual! Is that a pig? Oh my god. I'll praise the server god. What's up, piggy? Come here. Come here. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Come on. Just let it happen! Give me your foul trait! You're gonna- You're gonna die anyway. Stop running. And you're dead. And give me your stuff. Your raw chicken breast. <laughs> I never understood that. But they should have just said raw meat or something. It's still on alpha. Oh, well, it's in the top right, so you know that already. But it's still on alpha. And um, all the animals that you kill, they all give you raw chicken breast. 
So, I think they might, they might change that to raw meat or something. They might actually start changing their names. But for now, we get chicken from pigs and chicken from wolves and chicken from bears and chicken from all sorts of things. Then we'll get some more wood. But now we have cloth and we can maybe make a couple of things. Like a primitive weapon or something. Definitely can make a sleeping bag if we can get like one or two more animal kills. I think we need like 15 cloths to make a sleeping bag or something. All right, cool. All right, let's make a hatch. Come on, give me stones. Give me stones. I need two stones. I need, there we go, okay. Crafting. We'll get stone hatchet. There we go. And go. The hatchet is much more effective than a giant rock, but I just, I did not feel like waiting for the hatchet to finish crafting, because I don't know. I guess I'm impatient. Let's move this over here, and this up here, and this up down here, and then we do this, and then we do this. There we are. Alright, what we're gonna do, because I'm not comfortable with that ha okay. I guess we're gonna lag. Lagging works too, I guess. Oh, okay, what's that? What's that noise? That's a new noise. I don't know what that noise is, but I don't like it. That's going on near my house. Did somebody voice chat? Hello? Come here, you little pig. I'm gonna get you. And you're dead. I need more cloth. Give me more cloth. Give me more cloth, piggy. Give me more cloth. Give me more cloth. Alright. I don't know why the noise is coming from there. Like that. It scares me a little bit, but there are a lot of resources around here, so I'm very happy with it. Hopefully we can make it back to camp without dying. And now I'm hungry. We'll cook some food as soon as we get back and I can set up a campfire in that house. And then I plan on breaking that door down of the guy that lives right next door to me, because I'm assuming that's his house and I have to kill him to make sure that he doesn't do the same to me. That might piss him off and make him come back and kill me later, though, if he ever logs back in. So what, what happens when you log out is your dude just falls asleep. He just passes out wherever you were standing. So you're never off the server. Uh, I don't think your your hunger be meter will deplete, but if somebody decides to raid your house, they'll uh, go in there, they'll kill you. Your dead body will be dead, or your sleeping body will be dead, and then your stuff will be gone, and you'll wake up in a respawn state, probably passed out on the ground somewhere. But they have a lot of changes that they plan on making to the game. That's uh, that's one of them. I think they're gonna change the way the the log off or the disconnect settings work. I heard that. I don't know what that noise is and why there are multiple noises like that coming from everywhere. What the hell is that? What is that? What's up here? Is that something? Is this a something? No. No, it's not. Damn. Where the hell's my house? That's not my house. Is my house down here? Oh god. I think my house might be down here. There's a wolf and a bear. A wolf and a bear just consorting with each other. That's definitely not good. I don't remember passing a wolf and a bear. 
So my house must be up here somewhere. Mm. Donde estas my house? I want to know what that noise is. Something's coming from the sky or from over here somewhere. Like a helicopter. Like someone left those one of those old tube TVs on and just on a channel that just white noise. That's what that sounds like. White noise. What I want to know is where the hell my house is. Is it up here? Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely up here. It's gotta be up here. See, this is the majority of the game, finding your house. See, there's that little shack. The shack was around the corner. Nope. Oh, tell me. Damn it. Give me that rock. I guess we're resource gathering no more. But I really hope that I could get back to my house before I ran out of food. Aha, here we go. Come on, you're running out of food. You're running out of calories, my friend. You're almost starved to death. Starved to death. Hmm. Donde estas my house? Donde estas my house? <sighs> A lot of wood, though. Don't starve to death, guy. Come on. You just gotta find your house. That's all you gotta do. Now, like, um, in Minecraft, you can eat food, and even if it's raw, it'll still heal some. In this game, if you eat raw food, you will get food poisoning and sick and start vomiting and lose health. And it's very violent and unpleasant, so... Just thought y'all should know. That's why I'm not eating my food. It's a big open field. Damn it. I need to find my house. Come on. I can't believe I lost my house so quickly. It's a bunch of bullcrap. That was a nice house, too. Maybe it's over here. It's gotta be over here. It's gotta be behind this rock right here. Because I know it was to the southwest from where the direction that I was heading. So I was heading northeast. So it's got to be right around here. It has to be. There's no way it's not. The house has to be right here. Where the hell's my house? What the hell? All right. Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. We're going this way. Going this way. Okay. That bear one's nothing to do with me. I hope. Here's the house. The campfire. Maybe he doesn't see me. Crafting. Wooden door. Craft. No, 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 I'm crafting! Crap, 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 crap. No, this was a terrible idea. Oh my god, go faster! Uh, okay. I think the bear got stuck behind the house. I think the bear tried to go through the rocks and got stuck behind the house. Well, we'll have to find my house later. We're gonna just set up post in this house right here. Hopefully the bear won't kill me. <sighs> Looks like somebody else already lives here, but you know what? Screw them. I live here now. My house, my door, my place. Change the lock. New password. Some logs in the fire. Shrimp in the bobby. Whoops, that's too much split. Too much split. There we go. And cook. 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 Use. Alright, now we can get to crafting a little bit. Sleeping bag. Can't fire. Can't make a sleeping bag yet, but we can make... A hunting bow. 
There we go. Excellent. Now we'll have a weapon and we can go kill that bear. That obnoxious, pesky little douchebag bear. <sighs> Come on. Craft faster. Craft faster. Craft faster. I want to get this section out of the way so I can split off the episode because we're running out of time. But I'm not going to do that until I have all my items in order. You guys need to see the crafting side of this too. Don't need to use all my stones for that. I'll do four, which will make 16 arrows. That should be enough. For now. For now. We shall part until then. I'll place this here. We can kill that bear and get some stuff. Hopefully we can kill that bear. Hopefully that bear doesn't kill me. Get some food. Open the freaking... Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Give me the food. Give me the food now. And before I start starving to death, we eat the food. There we go. Now you understand how to be human being. We're civilized as all we are in our loincloths and rocks that we throw at other people and things. You know, I'm really surprised I haven't seen anybody else yet. Maybe because it's like 11.30 on a Thursday. I don't know. Maybe everyone's at work or school or wherever they gotta go. Speaking of work, they cancel work for me two days in a row because people... In this state of Florida, can't handle like a thin layer of ice. So I remember I was driving up the bridge, um, trying to go to the gas station to get myself one of these last night, and there was some dude in this little um, like Chevy Impala or something. He was like coasting up the bridge really slowly, and then he just started doing this. Just started spinning around, like like a corkscrew, not a corkscrew, like a a dreidel. Or a little top that you spin like Bakugan or something. It's like, woo, spinning all the way back down the bridge. And I'm like, well, welcome to Florida. Because I'm from New York. And I'm used to this. Like, I've, There were like eight emergency vehicles on the road going in different directions to, do, to help different accidents or something. And I've seen conditions like a hundred times worse than this back in New York. And not a, single, not a single emergency vehicle around because people can drive in that stuff. But here, nope. Nope, not even if there's cold out. They'll get into accidents because it's cold. Anyway, that's all the crafting that we have to do today, so I believe we are out of time. Actually, you know what? I kind of... Mm, I don't know. I'll save that for the next episode. I was going to kill the bear, but I'll save that for the next one. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. I'm going to record a couple more episodes for now, but I'll probably end the series after two or three episodes unless you guys want to see more. So let me know if you guys want to see more if you liked the video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm used to 60, all the other games that I've played, I be thinking the 60 is on the screen there. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Oh, we're in a safe zone, that's fine. I'm stupid. Get out of the safe zone. Get out of here. Take it out the window.